Welcome to Creative Living with Lynn Lilly at Home Edition. This week, I am going home with Maria Provenzano. You may know her from her popular blog, From Scratch, or as a cast member on Hallmark Home and Family. She is a DIY lifestyle and food blogger. This girl really does it all and shows us how we can have a life from scratch at home with our family. So before we get started, I would love to know who's watching. Give me a shout in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. And if you've got a question for Maria, feel free to post that in the comments as well. All right, guys. Also, before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to get our notifications so you find out every time we're premiering a video or doing a live broadcast. And as always, feel free to tag a friend or share it with someone that you think would love this video and want to be a part of our community. All right, let's go meet Maria. Maria, how are you? Hi, Lynn, how are you? Good. It is so good to see you. I, oh, I feel like seen you in ages. It's been almost a year. Oh, so make me cry. I know I miss you. You have to come back and see us. <laughs> I know. Hopefully later this year, maybe early next year, I'll be able to make yes. it to LA. So we'll come back to normal. I have a good feeling. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, okay. So I've been starting off every interview with a quick, just like Q&A questions. I'm going to give you two options. And okay. I want Pick one. No explanation necessary. It's just a quick okay. icebreaker. Get to know you. Okay. Like speed dating. <laughs> okay. Beach or mountain? Beach. Paper or fabric? Fabric. Dogs or cats? Dogs. <laughs> Sweet or salty? Sweet. Acrylic or watercolor paint? Acrylic. Sew or no sew? Sew. Coffee or wine? Coffee. <laughs> Heels or flats? Heels, for sure. Pen or pencil? Pen. Text or call? Text. <laughs> Comedy or romance? Comedy. Lipstick or lip gloss? Mm, lip gloss. All right, road trip or sky miles? Sky miles. <laughs> Miles. You know what? You are the first one that has said Sky Miles out of really? all the interviews. Everyone's been saying road trip. So, <laughs> yeah, I, nope. I want to get there fast. <laughs> right. Fast and far, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll play with you. Um, <laughs> all right. That was a good one. I could have predicted some of those, but I like it. Super <laughs> fun. He get to know you. Um, okay. So, I would love for you to tell our viewers how you got started as a food blogger, a recipe creator, a DIYer, where did it all start? So I have been doing all things creative since I can remember. I mean, my mom was like an OG Martha Stewart. Like she was doing cooking and baking with us when we were little before it became, you know, such a popular thing. So we have pictures of me in the kitchen as a baby, you know, eating cookie dough. I mean, this is all before you could, you, you could let your kids do this. Your kids could sit on the counters, your kids could eat cookie dough. And we did all those things. And my mom, I mean, everything was from scratch. I didn't even know that people bought spaghetti sauce or um, jelly at the store because my mom always made them from scratch. And so it was just something that I always did growing up, even through high school, we would make, make these beautiful cookies with the royal icing and bring them to school for all the sporting events and things like that. So it was just always in my DNA. I mean, our cookie baskets for Easter were <laughs> like Pinterest worthy pre Pinterest. And so as I got into the, um, you know, the blogger world started when uh, Pinterest started and Instagram started, of course, as you know. And uh, it was funny because my sister was sort of on this like weird cutting edge of all this. And she was like convinced me to start a blog with her. And I was like, blogging initially was this whole thing of where people were just like, right, it was like a dear diary. Right. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm not doing that. She's like, no, this is different. This is like, this is really a place where I think you and I would be a fun project for us to do together. And so we actually started one together. Uh, this is like, I mean, I wasn't even married yet. So this is like a long time ago. And we started doing one together that she still has. Okay. And it's called the 
Chef at Speed. And then I started doing more cooking. I was like, putting my recipes on there. She was doing fashion. So then we just wanted our own because we just like became so passionate about it. And I started doing my own. And that's where I put all of my recipes and my like any crafts that I was doing or anything like that. And then it just started to snowball into the world that it is now. And uh and that's really how it started. I mean, a lot of mine was initially food and then evolved more into like the crafting world. Nice. I love it. I did not know that backstory and I feel like I've known you for a while. It's cool. <laughs> um, all right. So you make a lot of different stuff, right? Like you said, from food to craft. What is your favorite, whether it comes to recipes or crafts or DIYs? My absolute favorite thing is when food and crafts marry together. So that's where, it, like, food meets DIY. My favorite is when it comes to entertaining. So I love tablescapes and I love creative food, like, especially holiday stuff, you know. And you know that because we worked together in the past. So anything, I was like, can you make it, like, a dessert? And I'm, obviously, I, I love to bake. So that's, like, my my favorite thing in the world. But, uh, but yeah, so that's probably my my favorite creative thing to do with is the mixture of both creative uh, the craft and the food together love it all right so for our viewers that don't know but i'm sure they do because i know our community is a big big fan of hallmark home and family you are a family cast member yes. um so what is your favorite part about that because i know it's a awesome show great place to be what's your favorite part it is truly my hand to God, my dream job. Like I, I feel so fortunate and you've been on our set. It is a dream come true. So I grew up watching Hallmark movies with my mom. And so when I got to be on the Hallmark channel for the first time ever, um, got about almost seven, seven years ago, some six years ago, uh, it was, it was truly such, um, a dream. And so I think the my favorite part of being on there is one Hallmark is such a legacy. You know, and, and it's it's amazing to be in part of it. And I've been able to go to Kansas City where Hallmark is headquartered and learn about the history and go into the archives and we do specials on it. So I think just to, the biggest thing is being part of the history and the legacy. But secondly, we get so much creative freedom. Crown Media, who, you know, is uh, owns Hallmark Channel and our show is on Hallmark Channel, they give us so much creative freedom. It is amazing. We are pitching ideas. I'll be like, listen, I have this in my head. It sort of looks like this. And we sketch it out. But the best thing is that they trust us. And it's really, really cool. I, I will say I described when I came back from doing the show for the first time yeah. as a guest. People are like, what was it like? And I was like, if you think of Hallmark and all those movies that you watch and the warm fuzzies that you get, I was like, that is exactly how it is. I was like, from every person that is on set, like everyone you meet, they just give you the warm fuzzies. Like it truly is like the brand that you see on TV is like how the people are. Like everyone's so warm and welcoming. So it truly is. It's, it's magic. It is magic. And the craziest thing too is that we, it's very authentic. We all love each other. Truly, our cast and our crew, it's like one family. There's not like, I mean, I was recently texting all of the people from um, the prop department who worked there, who you worked with when you came, and they are dear friends to me. I'm like, I've been in tears because I miss them so much. And it really, truly is a family on that set. Yeah, it, it is. Like, it, it's like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> <Really>. <laughs> Um, okay, so you obviously get a lot of creative freedom on there. What has been your favorite, most creative, or unique segment that you've put together? So this is, oh, that's hard because it's like picking my favorite child. Um, so <laughs> I, think, I think my favorite ones to do are when I get to go really big with something. So Christmas in July is a big deal for Hallmark Channel. And our viewers love Christmas in July. It's super fun. So I, I think my favorite one that I just like kind of pops in my head as like a recent one was uh, Christmas in July last year. I did this really fun hot chocolate bar, but it was like an iced hot chocolate bar. Uh -huh. So I do like, it was the, the ultimate like food meets DIY. So I had like these big um, candy canes. It was like, we did these fake lights. Everything was out of like really inexpensive things like um, just like, you know, paper and like things like that that we just painted. And uh, and then we had our little, you know, food stuff on there. And I think that was probably my my favorite 
that popped in my head recently because it was sort of all encompassing for me. Yeah, I'll choose that one. <laughs> Love it. Um, okay, so in general, what is your biggest craft or food fail? Oh, uh, can I think of, can I tell you one specific one? Yeah. That it involves you because I don't know if you guys know this, anybody who's watching, but I, pre-home and family, uh, I was able to contribute to Craftbox Girls. Yep. And you can see some of my crafts on there. And there was this one that I had in my head and I really wanted to make it work. Do you remember the, the uh, paper mache unicorn that I had tried to make? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, it, I mean, I spent days on this thing. Cause you know, with homemade paper mache, you're, there's constant like, you know, drying and layers and this and I could not for the life of me make this it was like a unicorn head because it was like a big thing that people were putting on their walls and like it's cute people look I could not make this thing work and so Lynn uh got an email from me going can we change the DIY I cannot make this thing work it's like sometimes you see it in your head and you're like and then you do it and you're like mm, this does not cannot translate and Oh, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> this one did not work. <laughs> You're like, no problem. Let's go back to the drawing board. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a good one. Um, <laughs> all right. So obviously now it can be a stressful time for everyone. So what is your kind of method or secret to self-care that's keeping you sane and happy? Uh, truthfully, it's 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 been baking. I love to bake. I know that's not really self-care, but to me it is. It's um, being creative to me and testing recipes and doing things like that. I love to cook dinner. Like that's for me, it's like it's cooking dinner or it's baking. The self-care, I mean, it's been a little bit of like this because I'm like, oh, I'm going to bake. And then I've been baking too much. I'm like, oh, I'm going to eat healthy this week. <laughs> so I think the self-care is truly, is truly just doing what speaks to my soul. And that really is the cooking and the creative cooking. And if I'm going to be honest, if I really want to like feel good, I'm going to bake a batch of cookies and we're going to enjoy them because that is like my ultimate like self care because I love it. It makes me happy. <laughs> I, I love that. I agree with you. Like I love crafting when I don't have, like there's no like deadline or something yeah. I have to do. Right. Yeah. It's like yeah. when I sit in a room and just do it and make whatever I want. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if it comes out perfectly or it's picture perfect at the end. Yeah. So I totally understand that. And then it comes out perfect. You're like, ah, I should have taken pictures of that. <laughs> oh. um, so I have been watching some of your fun videos with your boys on Instagram. Um, so, you know, you're doing a little bit of that, but what else are you doing to kind of keep them entertained? And, you know, obviously they're, they're stuck inside a lot these days. So any yeah. ideas or inspiration you can give our viewers? Oh, you know what? You know, you can see it behind me. Look at that. We are creating lots of art. Uh -huh. So those are, you can purchase a lot of uh, things online. And I know you work with Crayola a lot, and I love Crayola. That is, um, it's a canvas that I got at Target, but the paint is all Crayola, the non-toxic paint that I love so much, and especially if you have younger kids. But it really, you know, yes, I've been doing the videos with, with my sons because they, they, my oldest loves to be on camera. Um, but yeah, he's such a little thank star. You. <laughs> but really to entertain them, I... I try to spark the creativity by asking them what they want to do. And you'd be surprised. Like they come up with really creative ideas. Like, I mean, we've done things where I live in Los Angeles, so we have been able to get outside. We've been gone on like worm hunts or bug hunts at boys. So like, you have a girl, I don't know if they like bugs as much. Um, but it's, I think the biggest thing is just trying to get creativity out of them, but like having them have the ideas. Yeah. So that's really what it has been. But I have had, um, but I have been getting them into the kitchen and having them just create with me. And that's been our favorite thing, our favorite pastime. And it helps them to learn a lot about food. And I think you'd be really surprised how much kids like can, how quickly they can learn how to do that. Yeah, it is. I think it's great to get kids in the kitchen early. They learn so many fundamentals and new things. We've been making uh, pancakes or waffles every Saturday or Sunday with my daughter Aww. Lily. She reminds me now the steps. She's like, we need to mix. Where's the water? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. It is fun to get in the kitchen with the little ones. Um, so what is your favorite project or recipe that you've made in the last few weeks? 
Well, like I said, I've been baking a lot. I will say one thing that I'm really proud of are my lemon poppy seed scones. Mm. And yeah, they, I, I am a sucker for lemon poppy seed anything. And I am a firm believer when life gives you lemons, you make lemon poppy seed scones or lemon poppy seed pound cake or something of that nature. But uh, I would say that's that's been my favorite because I tested it out a million times. It was one of those recipes where I was like, no, it's not perfect yet. I need more leavening or I need less net leavening because now it tastes like soap. You know, it's like, it's one of those things where, <laughs> trust me, if you put too much leavening in, you will know because it will taste like soap. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll just share that recipe with you because it's it's yeah. one of my one of my favorites. And I love, scones are one of my favorite things to do because they can be made ahead of time. Mm -hmm. But they are just, oh, lemon poppy seed, so good. And I finally <laughs> nailed it, so. Love it, <laughs> delicious. We definitely have to get that recipe. All right, so can you give us a hint of something fun you're working on? Yes, and I can't say too much about it, okay. but I am writing a cookbook. <gasps> what? Oh, that's so exciting and awesome. Oh my God, it's going to be amazing. Thank you. I'm, it's a, it's a dr literally a dream come true. It's something I've wanted to do my entire life, and uh, I kind of went full throttle with it, and it's happening and I'm Amazing. so excited about it. Oh, well, you will have to keep us posted. I'm so, so excited. That is awesome. Please. I I will have to tackle some of the from scratch stuff because I am a box cake girl. <laughs> so. But you do inspire me because your stuff looks amazing and you make it look so easy. So I will definitely <laughs> be trying some recipes out of there. You're so cute. You're so you're like, I'm a box girl. <laughs> I am the halfway homemade. You give me that box cake, I may add something fun to it, but <laughs> um, all right. So five years from now, what does the dream plan look like for Maria Provenzano? All right, five years from now. Well, let's see if I can talk my husband into having another baby. <laughs> Uh, right now he's like mm, no because especially with quarantine we're like how would we handle another one um <laughs> but that's all part of the brand too um you know you gotta have your kids involved yeah. as you know um yeah. so definitely more cookbooks that is a uh, you know something that I want to continue to do for the rest of my life uh more video obviously I want to I have uh the video that I've started to do with my Instagram be something that is uh more regular uh -huh. and uh, still being a part of home and family. And uh, a big dream of mine is to uh, have a from scratch uh, food line. So I have uh, the history of my family. Actually, my the Provenzano family used to have a store in Saginaw, Michigan, where I'm from, a grocery store, an Italian grocery store. And they used to bottle and jar uh, spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. And salad, it was called J&R sauce after my great grandparents. And it's this family recipe that we've had for years. And I would love to be able to create that, um, that sort of nostalgic taste and feel and everything again. And like I said, I, I never knew people bought that stuff at the store because I make it at home. And, <laughs> and same with um, uh, jelly. So I would love to have a food line in terms, I don't know what that looks like in terms of like what exactly it would be, but it would be spaghetti sauce and jelly. My mom has the best homemade recipes for jelly. So that would be a dream of mine um, going forward as well. I'd love to have that. I love it. Well, you put it out in the universe now, so it's bound to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy it for sure. Yay. I would love to make things and put them in a jar or a box and I could buy them. <laughs> that would make my day. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Um, all right, Maria, you have been amazing. Thank you so much. I'm so glad we get to catch up. Can you remind our viewers where they can check out your blog, follow you on social, and all that good stuff? Yes, so my website is fromscratchwithmaria.com, and my socials are at fromscratchwithmaria on all the things. All the things. <laughs> on all the things. Thank you so much, Maria. Stay safe, you. and hopefully, fingers crossed, I will get to see you soon. It's going to happen. I miss you. You need to go have a glass of wine. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Bye, Maria.